Hey everyone, uh, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Kingdom of Loathing. If you're just joining me, and fuck, why are you doing that? Uh, I've been fighting seals for a couple of weeks now, I think. But I finally have enough skins. That was the last one. Which is why I started recording. Good show, Dusky Alfred. Well done indeed. These should do fine. Give me a moment of three. I'll have you all ready for the masquerade. Do you need to go away for a few uh, minutes? No, 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 no. Uh, take, uh, let me take your management. Do you dress to the left or the right? Uh, hold these brains for a moment, would you? Ugh. Finished. Well, it's roughly shield, steel shaped, I say. Can't say it's uh, very convincing. Uh, tut tut, my friend. You want to go into a masquerade ball? Seals have poor vision, remember, so the disguise need not be visually perfect. It's important that you smell like them. It does smell, I'll give you that. Precisely. I'll begin to work on the repairs of my balloon post haste. Good luck to you, my friend, and don't hesitate to ask if there's anything else I can do for you. Is there anything else? Uh, not that I can think of, no. Uh, there's this. He hands you a shiny metal figure, which is heavier than it looks. I found it in the jungle near the cave. I was going to use it as ballast, but perhaps you can put it to a better purpose. So. The quest items. Hell seal disguise. Large smelly leather sack that resembles a hell seal enough to get you allow you to get past the guards in Gorgolok's cave. Don't equip it, you don't need to be wearing it or any more than it is absolutely necessary. Few. And the depleted seal depleted uranium seal. Shiny, silvery, unreasonably heavy seal figure. As you hold it, you can feel your hands tingling from the great magical power within. I think I've already <gasps> It doesn't even take any. Interesting. I'm a... Uh... Hmm. Let's try it. Begin that ritual. Heat seal. Oh, it's a heat seal. <laughs> Let the candle speak the ancient words. You hear a click and a strangely inflected voice. The party you are attempting to contact, Gorgolok, has been exiled to the mortal plane for being unreasonably violent and not a team player. You'll be directed to the next available infernal seal. Click and a sort of hum and a horrible monster appears in front of you. Well, club foot. Inkwell. Monster attack reduced by a lot. All right. Bam. Oh, shit. Step to the plate, one up your oversized pipe and swing. Opponent is knocked out of the park. See you tomorrow. You win the fight. Oh, my God. I can just do that over and over again. Uh... <laughs> um, okay, interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Hmm, okay. Got a lot of hell seal whiskers and claws. Maybe this actually won't be too hard to uh, get going. Okay. Well. Bonk. Uh, now let's head to a dark cave. Put on, uh, creep to the cave entrance, put on the seal costume. Ugh, it's like a leather sleeping bag that's been used to store wet dogs. Sit wet dogs. Possibly dead wet dogs. Awkwardly you shuffle into the cave. Three f large fang red eye seals waddle to you growling deep in their throats. They squint at you and sniff you all over and squint at you again. They make a harump sound and wander off. Whew. Waddle down the tunnel to find a spot that's clear of seal guards and take it off. Which may sound like the poor, which may sound like a poor idea, but seriously, if you didn't know it would have been, if you hadn't, it would have been suffocation that killed you instead of hell seals. Weapon raised and jaw set firmly. You know your mission's nearly at an end. You have to find Gorgolok and finish this once and for all. Preferably without alerting the rest of the seals and having to fight your way through the entire cave. A shout rings out through the cabin. Intruder, the bad one comes. Protect the cave. Protect your master. Kill the human. Rip and tear. Well, crap. I'm so ready. All right, let's take this off for now. I'll probably need to put it on later, but whatever. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I should put on. I had this on, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Hell Seal Guardian. You know how in gangster movies they have that bodyguard thug character? A big beefy bald guy with a broken nose and piggy eyes and no neck wearing a cheap suit and brass knuckles? This is the seal version of that guy. <laughs> he breaks your nose with his brass fin. Debt wasn't Barry Dice. 
Boo. Smacks you with his beefy tail. Where's the beef? Leaving a bruise on your face. Uh, let's um, let's swap out Chadwick for a bit and bring Desmond back in. Desmond, you're back. Hellseal Guardian. There we go. Much better. This way Desmond can actually fight during the things. Although I think that What's-His-Face is actually a little stronger. So what am I doing here? Defeat three to six bodyguards and encounter the nemesis for a second time. You know what? Let's um, let's go here. And I want to I want to grind up some more. Ooh, seven hippies, nice. Grillmaster filling hot kebabs fast as you make it. Screw it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hippies. Ah ah ah. See one of your beer bong to your frat brothers. Use a complicated beer bong to sp spray cheap, skunky beer in a whole squad of hippies at once. Way to go, brah, you shout. Nice. Oh, good. Another scent clan. That's exactly what I wanted. Can I get here yet? No. Okay. So that means that I haven't... Uh, nuns. Opposite side... Okay, so I would need to kill 192 nuns, which means that it would go twice as fast if I did this other quest because I've done three now, I think. And if I did four, it would take much less. Obviously. Yeah, I just wanted to charge up my, uh, my go a little bit more. All right, so I'm staring down the barrel of the seals. And I have to f do the quest line, the main quest. Oh, wait, this isn't what I wanted to go. Uh, back to here, back to here. I gotta say, power stanting pipes is pretty intimidating. Miscellaneous quest item. Yeah, here we go. Dark cave. Hellseal guardian. Bonk. Hellseal whiskers and claws. Oh, shit. Well, here he is. You're fighting Gorgolok. Infernal Seal. With a blood-curdling roar, Gorgolok charges out of a darkened cave tunnel, eyes glowing red with fury. Stupid human, I kill you myself. Make you squeal like stupid monkey you are. Stand your ground firmly, leveling your weapon in the first hell spawn. Reign of Terror is at an end, monster. Reign of Terror only beginning, monkey. Reign of Terror become Thunderstorm after I finish you. Ha 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 ha, get it? Horse Seal leaps at you, claws and fangs shining in the dim light. But we get the jump on him. Okay. Clubfoot. Northern explosion. Oh! <laughs> you know how beer tastes better in a frosty mug? You mug your opponent with your frosty oversized pipe, which is sort of similar, except, except instead of being refreshing, it deals 200, 542 damage. Shit. Critical hit. Fuck yeah. As you land that final blow, Gorgolok rears back. Oh, you never defeat me. You're not paying attention, are you? I've defeated you twice. I show you. I show you true power. Gorgolok turns and charges. Well, waddles, but it's a fast water. Deeper into the cave and out of sight. Looks like I have to go after him. Damn it. First, though, you take a minute to look around the cave for treasure. Here's something. Crack ox loincloth. Let's take a look. It's only 125, but it gives me initiative and muscle. The stiff ancient leather loincloth owned by famous barbarian Crack ox. It's unknown whether Krakox was a seal clubber. Some claim he was the original and progenitor of the Northern Barbarian race. Others describe him honorary seal clubber status on account of him being so awesome. Regardless, it's believed that the loincloth he wore for pretty much his entire adult life must have absorbed some of his power. It certainly smells like it did. Ugh. I still have Gorgolox's scalp of Gorgox. Yeah. What else could I possibly equip on this? Um, hammer smiting. Hmm. N 
A uh, voice in the back of your head, that's me, reminds you you should be heading toward what is likely to be the final battle against your nemesis and equip that legendary epic weapon of yours first, just saying. Okay. Uh, read you loud and clear. Wait, is this the legendary epic weapon? Yeah, hammer smiting. All right. Temperature rises as you were here into Gorgolok's cave. Tunnels twist and turn, but his shuffling waddle makes an easy trail. Cavern branches in a smooth, almost glassy surface tunnel. An ancient lava tube. Appears you're heading directly into the heart of the volcano. On reflection, this was inevitable, really. You can't have a final boss battle near a volcano. Be like out of a car chase in which a fruit cart doesn't get knocked over. Or fighting crime in a giant robot never using a rocket punch. Yeah. Wipe your sweat from your face, and the tunnel ends at a massive lake of bubbling lava. In the distance, through the haze of the heat, you spot a small island. You can make out the form of your nemesis. At the distance, you can't tell what he's up to, but no good is a safe bet. Better get in there and put a stop to it, whatever it is. Survey the little stepping stones that rise and fall in the boiling magma and, and realize this is seriously going to suck. In fact, this is going to suck so much, I feel as if I should apologize in advance. Wouldn't be a final battle without a fiendishly final puzzle, would it? Oh, boy. Okay, so you can go diagonal. Ah, you swim back to where you started. Boy, is it hot. Okay, let's start cheating. Oh, boy. Well, maybe we can... Hmm. Oh, lava maze. Let's try this out. Uh oh. Shit. Okay. After seven swims back to store. Oh. Interesting. Too weak to exploring the cave. Okay. How do I get past this? Possible to bail at the lava maze and rest. You will resume where you were when you left. Interesting. Six possible sets, each one. Oh. Nope. Not going to download that. Hmm. Maybe if we go this way. Okay. It's working. Fuck. Oh god. All right, let's uh tongue up. Is this burning adventures? Doesn't look like it is. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, God. Well, it's not burning adventures, which is good, because that means that I can just keep banging my fucking head against this. I will say, this puzzle, this puzzle is fiendish. Huh? Okay, now here, here. Okay. Up, yeah. Okay, I'm getting further, getting further. For Wait, this is 10 adventures? Jesus. All right. I'm getting through this, though. Oh, for... Okay. 
I'm figuring it out though. Okay. This way? This way. This is really hard. I'm fortunate to be doing such a difficult puzzle, though, which is nice. Oh, for... I'm going in circles. I'm going in circles. Okay. This way? I did that. I did that already. Okay. Let's lick myself. Oh, my Lord. Um, what should I do about that? Oh, I could, well, I can, you know, uh, kill people. Oh, yeah, shamans. Oh, yeah, why don't I, um... Why don't I uh, squeeze this all over myself? Okay. Now hopefully I'll be, I'm going to be able to get... Oh, shit. That was uh, not ideal. Oh, that wasn't where I wanted to go either. Okay, Filthworm drone. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, while I'm here, let's also put on my uh, superior. Take with me. All right, back into it. I suppose I should and could put on the thing that increases drops. Yeah, okay. Wrench bracket. Screwing pooch, right? More item drops, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Please give me the item. Filthworm drone scent gland. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this for another eight rounds just so I can hopefully get another one. Because I don't have to go in order as long as I have the next one up. I got two. There you go. See? Just what I needed. I don't have the ability to get a lot more adventures though, so... Ah, well. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to cut the episode here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Next one is probably going to be short because of how many adventures I have left, but... Okay. Um, thank you guys for coming by. I've been Alfred. This has been Kingdom of Loathing. A free game. Next week, I hope I'm going to be able to kill that fucking seal, so... Uh, yep. Yep. <laughs>